This is African American History is American History. Welcome. I'm your host, Harlan Kearsley. This program's goal is to foster understanding, promote discussion, and expand knowledge through stories of historical events, bios of unsung heroes, as well as timely and relevant news stories that hopefully will paint a vivid picture of the effects of segregation, discrimination, and bigotry on the lives of both blacks and whites. Comparisons will be made between the many racially fractured periods of American history and what's going on right now. He was called the genius who made hearts beat. Born in Dallas, Texas, on a hot summer day, August 29, 1920, Otis Frank Boykin entered the world, the son of Walter, a carpenter turned minister, and Sarah, a devoted homemaker. Picture Dallas back then. Dusty roads. The Texas sun pressing down. But inside the Boykin home, a spirit of faith, discipline, and hope for the future. At Booker T. Washington High School, Otis's brilliance shone like a beacon. In 1938, he graduated at the very top of his class, a valedictorian. With his family full of pride, the young man left high school to applause and a head full of dreams. College doors opened. At Fisk University in Nashville, he walked the campus with both determination and humility. By day he studied, and by night he worked as a laboratory assistant at an aerospace lab. Think of him there, surrounded by test tubes, wires, and the whirring sounds of machines, learning to bend science toward human need. Later, in Chicago, he entered the Illinois Institute of Technology. But life does not always follow a straight line. Tuition was high, opportunities called, and he chose work over a degree. Many would have stumbled there, but not Otis Boykin. He carried on, proving that brilliance is not defined by diplomas alone. Fate placed him under the guidance of Dr. Howe F. Fruth, an engineer with his own laboratory. Together, they collaborated, experimented, dreamed. And in that lab, the spark of genius ignited. Otis Boykin fell in love with the mysteries of electricity, particularly resistors. Tiny components, no bigger than a fingernail, that quietly control the flow of current. Without them, radios would screech, televisions would fail, computers would falter. With them, the modern world hums along in perfect rhythm. In 1959, Boykin patented his precision wire resistor, a breakthrough that allowed electricity to be controlled with unmatched accuracy. Soon, his resistors were inside radios, televisions, computers, even guided missiles. He went on to secure more than 25 patents, creating chemical air filters, burglar-proof cash registers, and other devices that touch daily life in ways most people never realized. But perhaps his greatest contribution, the one that still saves lives every single day, came in 1964. Boykin designed a control unit for the artificial pacemaker. That's the sound of the human heart, kept alive by gentle pulses of electricity, each one timed with Boykin's invention. His work made the pacemaker longer lasting and manufacturable at a lower cost, which gave mothers, fathers, children, and grandparents something precious time. Time to live, to love, to laugh a little longer. And yet, in what can only be called tragic irony, Otis Boykin's own heart gave out in 1982. He died in Chicago, at just 61 years old. But death could not silence his legacy. His resistors are still at work today. His pacemaker control units have stretched countless heartbeats into decades of life. And his story is not his alone. Otis Boykin stands among a long line of African-American inventors, men and women who, often against the odds, shape this nation with their brilliance. From Benjamin Banneker, charting the stars, to Madam C.J. Walker, building an empire of beauty. To modern innovators, creating new technologies in medicine, engineering, and beyond. They were, and still are, the dreamers who dared to make their visions real. So the next time you turn on a TV, power up a computer, or listen to the steady beat of a loved one's heart, remember Otis Boykin. And remember the countless others who continue to invent, to create, to achieve because their light still shines bright as ever in every spark of innovation. Because African-American history is American history. I'm Jason Douglas. 
on behalf of everyone involved with African American History is American History. Thank you for listening. And if you haven't done so, please like, comment, subscribe, and share this vitally important series. Also, once you click on the notification icon, you'll be notified as soon as new episodes are posted. Thanks again. African American History is American History. Copyright H.C. Kearsley, 2025.